All right, we are kicking things off. This is the season opener. We're gonna be running the Tatachika Pika River. Four days to run upper stretch just north of Tatachika Pika Lake down to Metogamy River in the city of Timmins. This is one of my favorite rivers in northeastern Ontario for a spring run. This area had a big forest fire in 2012, huge forest fire, wiped out the forest. There's about 10 kilometers of total rapids on the trip. Some of those are definitely gonna be class two, maybe even a few class threes. I'm joined this time by John and Xander. Hanging out with my two buds. That's, oh, that's the best. I really wanted to do a whitewater trip with you. Go with some more experience so I can like not feel like this starting a whitewater trip. There is no ego in whitewater. And this trip we have, you know, three different paddlers with varying degree of skill set. So it's gonna be a really good learning opportunity for some of us. Uh, scared, honestly. Uh, but I think they'll shake off the nerves with one run. So if, if I'm successful, and even if I'm not, I think it'll still help. Just to, if I go for a swim, even that would be better than the anxiety I'm feeling now. But it'll be fun too. Yeah, pretty excited. First time in a dry suit. The water always looks higher and more powerful than until you're in it. And I don't really know. I'm excited, a little nervous. I hope we just have a lot of fun. I know we'll have a lot of fun. There's gonna be a lot of fun heads. Yeah, I'm at least a few Little baptism by fire on the first set. Put in right here, and then immediately follows a 200 meter class two. Pretty simple run, but there's one big boulder in the way that you gotta watch out for. I don't think it's gonna be too much of a hazard, really. So I'm gonna run it first, the guys are gonna follow, and we'll go from there. So nice little class two, we'll get her done. wasn't aggressive enough on that. Yeah. Oh well. What you gonna do? Alright, John should be coming soon. Nice! Yeah! Oh yeah. Woohoo! I saw you on the Eddie! Eddie. Baby. It's fun! Did you do that on purpose? Uh, not really, but I didn't fight it. I've wanted to dunk for a while, just to experience it. It's okay, I was rusty and I hit the rock slightly on that. It was so stupid, I was like... Well, I saw you and I'm like, you're not in a good position! I don't know why I tried to go over to that side. I was thinking I could eddy out there, but that was stupid. Xander's good. All right, I'll go get your boat. Any should dry suit works. How did it feel to, to swim though? Good. Yeah? I've wanted to get the experience, you know, like, feel better. Good. I'm glad that happened, honestly. Yeah. This is one of my favorite rivers for a spring run. It's really cool because it flows through an old burn. This area had a big forest fire in 2012, known as Timmins 9. It started in May 2-4 weekend, and they didn't put it out until October of that year. So, huge forest fire. Yo, you can hear the next set, eh? Hear that roar. Second set of the day, a little tricky. It's got a bunch of sweepers. There's a strainer at the end, but there's a line through the entire rapid. There's a couple big pushy waves and some hidden rocks. I might smoke one to be honest, but it's kind of the only way to go if you want to avoid all the sticks. You never want to hit one of those branches because it can spin you if you get caught. And when your boat spins mid current, it's a good chance you're flipping. You don't want to do that. I'm not going to lie, it looks sketchier up here, but... <sighs> Let's do it anyways. Uh, this one's going to be fast. And a little sketchy. Okay. You got this. Let's go, Chief.
All right, that worked. Not too worried about that one. Once I got into it, it felt great. A couple little sticks at the end, but uh, it's the, that was a sweeper. It's all pretty loose like this. The strainer is the big one bobbing up there. You don't want to get caught on that. Not bad, not bad. Feel good. Nice, nice, nice. There you go. Paddle, 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 yeah. Any water? Yeah. yeah. A bit. I mean, even with the deck, I took on a splash. Probably not as much as you. You look like you plowed. That's it. That's all the rabbits for the day. We have a couple kilometers of paddling to the campsite and uh, some much needed dinner. I forged my own path. All right, first day on the river. Got a small little site here, just on a river bank. River's quite flooded. It's probably about a foot over its banks at this point in time. Ran two really pushy sets. Pretty good, actually. Just one casualty. John flipped in a little eddy there, but uh, I think he learned a bit of a lesson about the power of water. So, good day so far. Kissed one rock, and beyond that, the rest of the lines were nice and smooth and pretty uneventful but tomorrow is when we get into the meat of the white water section uh, we're gonna have a lot of sets back to back continuous and there's gonna be some larger higher volume sets so we're gonna see what we can run based on these flows i don't know we might have some portaging in store for us but i think we're gonna have some pushy white water action so yeah we're gonna get a fire set up hang out and uh, eat some dinner and yeah get at her tomorrow fantastic first day out here You guys thinking of setting an alarm or just whatever? The sun's gonna hit my eyes. Yeah, that's true. The sun will be up pretty early, so it'll probably wake us. And John's gonna be waking up, making us coffee. <laughs> I could probably just sleep forever in that tent, but I'll hear yeah. noises and wake up. Yeah, I think just whoever feels like getting up and starting a fire, go for it. The others will follow. I feel it's gonna be chilly, and I'm not gonna leave that sink bag at first. Yeah, it's gonna be negative two. Yeah, yeah. at least I think. Morning to day two here. Gorgeous, sunny day, not a cloud in the sky. Today we are gonna be headed further down river, obviously, but we are gonna be entering a whitewater section where there's a lot of pool and drop rapids. It starts off with about a two kilometer long roller coaster of class one to class two pushy waves. And then we'll get to that pool and drop section where there's some ledges, some really technical class two runs with some river hazards of boulders, mid river. Uh, honestly, I'm still pretty calm and collected, but we'll see when we get to that ledge. Not stoked to get back in the dry suit, but oh, it's a lifesaver. The water's cold and it's intimidating. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just taking it moment by moment. Right now I'm enjoying this beautiful morning and trying not to think too much about the impending doom <laughs> but yeah got the worst over I hope with the dump so but uh, we'll see I can always portage that's why I keep telling myself I'm not comfortable and you guys aren't pushing me at all being really supportive so yeah I'll do what I have to do in the moment <laughs> potential challenge for the day is Miskawambi Lake it might be frozen 
Ice out really on the lakes hasn't occurred yet. The rivers are running pretty high. In the open area here, this old burn, there's not a lot of snow, obviously because there's no canopy to shade it. We don't see a lot of snow around here, but when you get into some of the dense shaded areas of the forest, there's still a bit of snow in there. So really looking forward to it. I think everyone's pretty pumped. They're all in their own zones getting ready for the rapids. I'm in my little zone right now. That's all I can do. I have no wisdom to share. Sorry. Good luck, have fun. Miss Gawambi boys, how are we feeling? I want to turn back. Super excited that it's ice out. Just not expecting that really. Advantage of the high flows. Just drilled it out, I guess. We are at the start of about a one and a half, two kilometer stretch of C1, C2. And if we're uncomfortable, the safety word is Tallahassee. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, entering the maelstrom. Here we go. We're gonna shoot it ducky style. What that means is we're basically gonna have one to two canoe lengths apart so that the lead boat will find a line and the boats behind it can follow suit. We're not going to be scouting this one. I've ran this one before. There's really minimal obstacles, a couple of rocks. Always got to be vigilant for sweepers or strainers, of course, especially with uh, higher flows. But it basically is a straight shot of rapids. So we should make pretty quick progress through here and punch through. Um, but heaven forbid we have an issue. The three boats are all in line so that we can uh, do a quick and easy rescue if necessary. Up, 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 nice. Well done. Well done. I got a lot of water. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> Fun though, eh? Yeah. Just caught an eddy midstream here. Boys needed a quick little bail. Of course, they're running open boats, so they don't have the deck to deflect all this water. These spring flows, this is a good class too, but it's voluminous. So there's some good pushy waves to punch through. Open boat, you're definitely gonna fill, and this is a long set. You could run it like a bathtub, but you lose a lot of stability and control. So we're going to continue on down. We're probably about halfway or three quarters through. Go from there. All right. Pretty fast guys, we just blew by 2k. How's the uh, scenery on the river so far for you? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's the burnt environment is really unique and um, seeing the regrowth and it's just, it's, an, it's, nice to, it's a nice change. Like it's not desirable per se, but it's beautiful in its own way. Uh, unique. It has its own chaotic beauty to it. This is my first time camping in a burnout like this. I did part of the French River a few years ago and we passed through the burnout at night. So this is my first time like being up and in, in one. So we're not running the first set. 
a good class three, really short. However, just the way the waves, the hydraulics are working there, it's a little risky and not having really a good safety crew kind of set up down river. These guys really haven't done river rescue before, so not necessarily feeling confident about uh, if I bail, because it's gonna sweep you right into a class two below it. And that class two has a couple boulders that if you don't get the canoe in time, and it's going down broadside, there's a chance you're gonna pin it. We still have quite a bit of paddling before we get to any real extraction point. So at this point in time, not worth the risk, but Xander and I are gonna run this really pushy class two and see how that goes. Yeah, I'm excited. I wish, I, I feel like I should be more nervous than I am. You know what I mean? Is that like, is that the dangers? Is that where I'm like at the danger, where the danger happens when you're not too carefree? Yeah. Is gonna go wrong here? I'm getting shivers, man. Now I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm good. We're good. Do this, buddy. Holy f I thought for a second there you were going a little squirrely. Towards the right side? Yeah. Yeah, I got a little bit close to that strainer, but uh, I grazed it. Well, I saw the line and I was like, oh, he's going a little wide. He's going yeah, a little wide, but a little wide. you made her. Ahoy! Awesome. All right, second uh, decent set. A well, third, really. This one's a good class two of these flows. Normally it's pretty technical, but not as technical today. There's still a bit of maneuvering, but for the most part, it's a straight shot. The river's actually high enough that it's drowned out a lot of the tricky features. So I don't think it's gonna be too tricky, but the biggest thing is kind of getting over this curling wave at the start and making sure you're on river left. If you're on river left, it's an easy run. So let's do it. Nice easy one. Yeah. A little sloppier than I was hoping. Yeah. Here we go. That didn't go well. The rest should be pretty simple, but thought I could sneak there. Oh, nice. I did not clear that rock. I hit it hard, man. Yeah, yeah, I didn't clear it. <laughs> All right, so we just crushed a lovely class two, uh, and ahead of us is about 800 meters of more class two. Starts with a bit of the swift here, and then we send her. All right, this one's a really pushy rapid. A lot of waves, a lot of fun. All right, let's get this done. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo!
straightforward. One nice big wave at the start there. Oh, I wish there was more of that. Look at this gorgeous rocks down here. Wow. What a run. Nice fun. Nothing crazy. Okay, little C2 action. Ah, it's sleepy. It's all good. Hi. Thank you, you too. I wanted to get as close to that rock as possible without just bump around it. Yeah, I didn't want to hit it, but I wanted to get the waves. <laughs> That's fun. So that's a set of C3 rapids right there. Portage here to the left also, it's our campsite for the night. So we're gonna get out, pull our gear out, and then we're gonna go take a look. Great day on the river today was able to run quite a few sets, only skipped two with these higher flows, a little questionable, probably could have ran it, but just wasn't feeling it today. Sometimes you really have to go with what your gut says. Don't push yourself. It's always there for another time and different flows to try it out too. I was really tempted by the one by our campsite, but it's a pretty big raging class three. Narrow lines on the one side and the other side's pretty questionable where the ledge comes off. You really have to get your line right and punch through it. but. Now we're camped up here on this gorgeous sandy point overlooking the rapids with the burnt out forest around us. Young jack pine forest is slowly coming in. Just gonna get some dinner started, take a look at some of the damage that some of the boats inflicted on the day and uh, go from there. So that's John's canoe and that's a pretty big gash. I'm pretty sure that happened when he ran one of the last sets of the rapids. We heard a big bang as he came down river. And I'm pretty sure he smoked into a rock. Good size gash, he says it's leaking, so he's gonna do a bit of field repair here to get through the next two days of paddling down river without having to bail all the time. For this trip, I brought marine epoxy and some fiberglass cloth, and it's a good thing, because I need it. I've never needed it on a trip before, so it worked out well. A little can of peanuts uh, that I just finished to use to squeeze these out part hardener, part resin, and mixed together they'll create an epoxy which we can mesh in with this uh, cloth to make strong repair. I probably could have just put the epoxy, but whatever. Yeah. Well, it's good to know what that little tube is I have like a perfect of. tool for that in my pocket but I need this for cleaning my pot. I so. actually got one too, so it's okay. Yeah. I, if anything, I'd burn mine, but. 
Tonight we are making black bean burgers. Dehydrated mix, got this from Good To Go Co. This is one cup of mix. And then the ratio is about three quarters of cup water. Mix it up, let it rehydrate for about 10, 15 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna pan fry them. Uh, but they're really versatile. You can even make them into meatballs, have like a black bean burrito going on, or make a pasta out of it. Really versatile dish for out here. So now we form these into patties. They've been sitting for about 20 minutes. Nice and firm. Oh, it's perfection. Nice and crispy on the outside. A little softer on the inside. Gives it a nice texture with that crunch. Got some hummus, some spicy German mustard. Fried up some vegetables as well. I've got some cheese. It's barn on one of my favorite meals out here. Hands down. What a way to end a day. This is amazing. Mm. Morning of day three, bright sunny day, only a few clouds on the horizon. It's gonna be a really nice day paddling downstream. Morning. Well, I've dumped, I've cracked my canoe. Uh, it should only get better. And I slept well last night. That's actually a huge part of it. I've, I've been really under rested and that just like creates bad chemicals in the brain. So a good night's sleep and I'm like actually excited today. Today there's less rapids uh, then yesterday, they are spaced out a little further apart too, but there is the potential to run a class three. A couple good sections of C1, C2 that are approaching up to five kilometers in length in some sections. So we should just sail on through those. And then it's punctuated by some flat water stretches too. Enjoying this beautiful day. Looking forward to splish splashing around in the Rippity Rapids today. I'm just like so grateful for the sunshine because it makes feeling wet and these cold mornings just not be an issue. So no, yeah, I'm grateful and excited. What a cool time of the year to come out. Water's cold, the air's cold in the night, beautiful bright sunny days we're having. What an interesting environment. We're in a desolate ghost forest as Brad called it. Great name, very fitting. First time in a burnout like this. What a unique landscape. Awesome to be here with some good people. Hey boys, I will see you on the downstream side. Do this. Got a slap. 
There we go. <laughs> a good pace today seems that uh, every couple minutes we're hitting rapids but the currents definitely picked up the river straightening out so we're making pretty good time ahead of us right now it's typically a c1 but at these flows maybe approaching a c2 with some of the waves try to hit as many waves as i can just to get a bit of that white water action but yeah that's a good run ahead of us yeah Such an awesome day out here. Oh, sometimes you just want to smash waves, share a few laughs, and enjoy a good day on the river. Something happens somewhere at some point if you don't boil it. That's a boil. Good job, so pretentious with this black coffee. I can't believe you didn't pour mine second. You poured yours. You should have been poured last. Have you ever I'll hosted sure or... Get, I'll make sure to just give hey, you extra. Hey. So we're in an area right now that looks pretty barren. What happened here is there was two fires that occurred. So there was a big fire in 2012, Timmins 9, that decimated the area. But before that, there was a forest fire probably 20 years prior that burned this small pocket of land. And you can tell because there's some smaller, younger age jack pine around here. So when the second fire ripped through, it basically decimated the forest that was trying to regenerate. Not a lot of seed cone source at that point in time. So this area's really struggled to pick back up. Now I was here about four years ago and there was barely any greenery at that time. But now there's three to five foot tall jack pine. So it really goes to show you how fast nature does recover a really cool experience though because there's these wide windswept sort of open barren hills and you can get quite a view of the river down below kind of a glimpse of what you'd expect to see in a tundra ecosystem even though we're still here in the boreal forest don are you stoked for more rapids yeah yeah! So the flows are definitely high. When I ran this four years ago, the river was running about 55 cubic meters per second. It's about 65 cubic meters per second is quite an increase. And the further we get down river, the more volume that accumulates, the bigger these wave trains and these rapids get. Yeah! rapid here a lot of flow coming down here that's definitely a way to flip your canoe it's really hard to get past this and take this tongue down bit of a sneak line on the far river right avoids this huge hole you're not getting through that hole you either want to take the tongue here or the tongue on the far side this one's gonna make me a bit nervous Okay, big C3. I gotta avoid a huge hole. And it's sketchy. If I don't get this line right, I'm going for a swim.
Nice! Wow, I don't know why I was so upset about that. That was a nice little sneak line. Oh, but that got the heart rate up for sure. Wow! Woo! Oh, baby, that was fun! Ha ha ha! Oh, yeah. So this is my first time in John's canoe. He doesn't feel comfortable running this rapid and I don't blame him. He's getting used to bigger water. It's a learning trip for him and this is definitely a class three at the start. I'm gonna take his boat down. First time in a canoe doing a bigger rapid, it's always a bit nerve wracking because every canoe feels a little different. But I'm fairly confident this will go okay based on how it felt in the prospector. Obviously I don't have the deck, but Xander went down open, didn't take on much water. I went down with the deck and it barely took on water. But if I flip, it's pretty low consequence. So I just feel bad about getting John's gear wet. All right, let's do this. Let's get serious. Let's try. Yeah, this thing works. I'm gonna try a really safe line. good in that boat. Yeah, buddy. Yes. Well done. Oh, yeah. We're feeling it. That's why you brace, baby. Yeah. Nice little low brace there. Way to go, man. Yeah, buddy. Well, that was a blast. Good run. I'm not a bad friend after all. I didn't ruin John's equipment, so that's a bonus. He might want to trip with me again. Good job, man. That was awesome. It filled up. It was fun, though. Yeah. yeah, I thought it would fill up on that first wave. I was nervous paddling your boat at first, but then I think it was pretty responsive. Yeah. I find it's a little slower and I think it's just due to the weight distribution in here. Okay. All right, so we are just approaching a big, pushy class two. It's about an 800, 850 meter set. So there is a chance to take on some water, but there's a big lagoon at the end of it. And if the boat does dump, we could set up camp at the base of it too. We do have some options, but we're in for what could be a, a pushy ride here. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Grab me, for the god, for God's sake. <laughs> well done. Power of friendship. <laughs> Made camp tonight by a nice set of falls. Back in the forest of lands. A little different being in the Barrens the last two nights, but uh, yeah, back in the Boreal Forest here, some nice towering jack pine, spruce, birch, poplar around us. It's kind of sad that uh, trip's coming to an end and it's our last night out here, but great day. A lot of good rapids today. Pretty straightforward for the most part. That uh, pushy class three was a lot of fun and then the continuous set of C2s at the end was just a thrill to run. 
But yeah, I'm gonna get some dinner on now, a little chillier tonight, especially here in the shade. There's still some snow in the bush, so I have a hearty, hearty noodle soup tonight to warm the soul. But yeah, great day on the river. Good morning, final day on the river. A little sad that this four day trip's coming to a close. It's really gone by pretty fast. Four days, short and sweet. Uh, I could go for another four, that's for sure. Time just flew by out here, sadly. We're really glad to have paddled with uh, Xander and John. John and I have been talking about doing a paddling trip for quite a while now. It was, it was less scary than I thought, less dangerous. Still pushed me, pushed my limits for sure, but when it was in flood warning, I was imagining like all class three, like huge holes. So I'm not someone to push my limits or be risky. So it's not like I learned to, to play within my limits. I was already doing that, but yeah, just knowing where I can take it in the next step. I learned that I have to trust myself and have faith in my abilities. I've run a few whitewater trips before and I was, I think I kind of didn't think I knew what I was doing. And I've learned quite a bit over the years, I guess and canoeing with Braddy gave me a lot more confidence in my abilities. I'm happy where I'm at with my abilities at the moment, even though there's still a long journey ahead. Now we just got about 12K to go. A little bit more white water, nothing too crazy, just a long, pushy stretch. Then we get to the Metogamy River, where we've left one of our vehicles to start the shuttle back to Utada Chicapica for the rest of the canoes. Fine. Look back, Xander's like going right to it. I told you I was trying to hit as big a stuff as I could on the end of this. That's true. Warned us. Did any of these guys out with that rock or close to their No, not even close. I was pretty close. Oh, I got so much energy, just like gently brought me around. And, and it just like squirted me out of the side. Just like, I didn't have any power from here. It was like, um, the waves, the waves, I was like, the same. If you're near the Tata River, give it a go. It's got a little bit of everything. And maybe if you come in at a different time of the year, when the water levels are still high, maybe there's fish, and then it would be like a absolute full package. It's got a lot. It's a good river. This is it, that's all she wrote. Trip is done. We're on the banks of the Metogamy River. The boys are gonna go their separate ways and I'm just gonna head back into town here. Fantastic four days, weather was absolutely fantastic. Couldn't have asked for better conditions for a spring trip. And the white water was just exceptional. A little mix of everything, so I think everyone had a good time. I had a blast. Man, I'd love to do this every spring. Great team.
Can't wait till that canoe sinks to the bottom of the river. Hey, welcome to MTV River Edition, featuring yours truly, Xander Bander. Whoa! Coming at you live from the Tatapika River. On the river, on the Tatapika Chica River, hurtling towards the class three. Gosh, golly gee, what have I got myself into this time? Hey, Brad's friends and family. Brad, Brad, Brad. He's not sad. He's Brad. Yep. Any thoughts are had in my brain right now? Thinking. What are you thinking about? Thinking very hard about it. Standing, thinking, thinking, standing, thinking. Any thoughts are had? Thinking very hard about it. Thinking. Yep. 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 Standing, Hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.